there's something better than perfection. According to this painting in the middle of Frankfurt, 15 meters high. The artist team Herakut are Falk Lehmann, also known as Akut, and Yasmin Zidiki, called Hera. Among the concrete skyscrapers, their image of a mother and a child stands out. Basically, our work is always a dialogue, simply because we work together. We tell each other stories, and the way we use these walls or canvases is like writing a diary. We create our own fantasy language to codify subjects that interest us. The work in Frankfurt took just five days. The image is from Herakut's current project, the giant storybook project about two teenagers living in a world of giants. Herakut were originally part of the graffiti scene, but now mostly spray walls only were permitted. This work was commissioned by the local authorities to prevent illegal graffiti. And it's worked. Herakut are so well respected that other graffiti sprayers have refrained from altering the painting. The graffiti scene we come from is usually a closed system. It uses a certain language that only graffiti guys can understand. And you communicate with each other, which makes it a subculture. But we developed this design to communicate with a wide audience. That's when it turned into street art, art in public spaces. Within the graffiti scene, we're both kind of outsiders because of the figurative drawings and because Yasmin is a woman in a male domain. It's made us wary, but also given us more freedom to develop our ideas. Ideas created on the spot. She designs the figure's outlines. He fills in the details. Hira's creative illustrations and Akut's photorealistic spraying complement each other perfectly. Yasmin works with different mediums, the spray can being one of them. In our projects, I only use a spray. I apply a large color spectrum to give our characters a three-dimensional effect. When they're done, Hira adds a motto that's just come to mind. Great things have small beginnings. Sketches and texts make up the beginning of their new children's book. They've already published two books, presenting a chronology of their work together. Hirakut can actually make a living with their art. They also sell canvas paintings to galleries all over the world. But the street is their favorite canvas. This painting was created in Toronto last year. Like all their works, it incorporates mystical, even melancholic elements. Yeah, it's usually the things we think are important and worth mentioning that end up with this serious undertone. But it doesn't mean they're negative. Melancholy is like a state in which you are completely open. We want to give the people something positive when we paint in public spaces, present them as something positive to think about. Hirakut have received invitations to paint on walls all over the world. Their clients range from urban art festivals to individuals and celebrities such as actor Jim Carrey. Their work can be seen from Tel Aviv to Montreal, from Shanghai to San Francisco, from Melbourne to Kathmandu. It's big in major cities. Street art is such a huge movement because it's the only art movement in history which is a global phenomenon because of the internet. Young people everywhere know about it. And they're happy for us to visit where they live. The writings on the wall, as are Herakut's painted and sprayed messages, a welcome and colorful addition to daily urban life.